Hi, so a couple of weeks ago I made a video on the upcoming Suno Studio, which is an extension of Suno that kind of promises that you're able to generate your AI tracks stem by stem, combining them with your own stems maybe, and mixing and finishing your productions all in the Suno cloud. So it provides you a lot more control on the AI music that is generated than just a prompt. Now at the time of making this video, Suno Studio is not out yet. It's just a promise, but what has just been released is Moises AI Studio, which seems to provide something very similar. So did they actually beat Suno Studio to it? Let's have a look. Let's go. Okay, so this is the website of Moises AI, which you actually may know from their excellent stem separation, which they have been doing for a while. But they now just released a new feature, which is called AI Studio. And from the picture over here, you can already see that it looks very much like a door in the cloud. And if you sign up for a free account for Moises, you get an interface like this. You can see over here, it is a free account. They have this AI studio over here, which is new. And as you can see, it is still in beta. So they now basically provide it for last phase testing to all of us, but they're still developing it to make it a more stable and mature product. But let's have a look at what it can do already because let's add a new project here and i have some basic tracks that i want to import from a song called breaking free so let's call the project breaking free and let's watch the introductory video here to see what we can do here So I think this shows a lot of features that we were also waiting for in Suno Studio. So let's explore how they actually work. You can drop your audio files here. So what I have is I have some stems from a very basic production called Breaking Free, which I use for another video. And I think we should at least import the vocal, probably also the drums to get a basic rhythm here. And maybe also some guitar to get some harmonic context for this song. And for the AI, let's correct the tempo here because it's actually 163, this song. So let's have a listen to these basic tracks, which were recorded by myself. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind. Finding my peace, leaving the chaos behind. No more whispers, no more silent cries. I'm sorry. So it's just a short fragment, basically a chorus of a song. And even though this is not my voice, I did initially sing this and then I had my voice replaced by a vocal from Audemy, which I also made a video about and I will link it in the description if you want to check that out. But this is the basic song. So as for controls, you can see over here, play. We can even record in here if you want to. And then it will try to use my microphone, but I'm not going to do that now. I can adjust the volume here, turn on the click track. I'm breaking free from the yes, let's turn that off. I think it auto saves, but you can also manually save in between here. You can give them feedback. You can download your mix or the tracks in various formats. Although for the free plan, I think only MP3s are supported. If I select WAV, then you see that I need to upgrade to uh, the pro license for this product. More about the differences between those levels and pricing a bit further, but I can also rename the product, specify the grid beats and measures minutes and seconds. There is a tutorial which we just watched and there is a guide for instructing you on how to generate the stems. But that's actually what we're going to try in this video. Now you have basic volume control here for the tracks. Uh, you have 
pan. If it's a voice, you have the option to convert it. You can generate new stems over here. If you have a combined track, you can also separate stems. You can apparently group tracks and group various lanes on which you have recorded, export, edit, rename, duplicate, and delete the track. And on the right side over here, you have the stem separation where you can generate stems for various instruments. So let's start with bass. And as I understand it, there are basically three options. You can generate bass with an AI match, generate the bass track based on the context audio. And the context audio is actually three tracks over here. If you mute the track, then you see that it uses only the tracks which are not muted as context. But let's use all three tracks here and let's have it generate a bass track using AI match. Now that took about 30, 40 seconds, I think, but it's there. Let's have a listen. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind. Finding my peace, leaving the chaos behind. No more whispers, no more silent cries. Okay, it does fit to the song. I think it's a bit harsh. So let's try another generation here. Let's try electric standard, maybe. Clean, straightforward electric bass with defined notes and a smooth tone, versatile foundation. Let's see what kind of bass line that provides. Let's mute this one and listen. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind. Finding my peace, leaving the chaos behind. No more. Yeah, that's a bit less abrasive. So I'm fine with this one. Now you can also generate based on a custom text over here, then you can apparently select reference audio and then you can describe over here in a prompt what kind of bass stem you would like. For example, you can say something like driving root notes played with a pick and slightly distorted. I would imagine that you can say that anyway, because as you can see, I need the pro plan to actually use this feature. So I cannot show it at the time. But if you guys are really interested in this, let me know. And I might make a follow up video exploring the more advanced features that are part of the pro plan. But let's continue with the free account for now. Now, if you like this video or find it useful at all, please give it a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm so that it gets shown to more people. Subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon so you know when I post another video. If you really want to show your appreciation, you can also use the super thanks button below the video, which is like a virtual tip jar, or maybe even better if you intend to buy anything at one of these online stores. I have a lot of affiliate links in the description below, and if you click one of those links before you buy anything at that store, I will get a small commission without any additional cost to you, which is highly appreciated. Let's get back to Moises AI Studio. Now let's actually also generate the guitar part. If I go to the presets and let's see if we can maybe do an acoustic strum part, rich full bodied acoustic guitar strumming with warm resonance creates an organic foundation. Let's see what that sounds like. That seems to be really loud. So let me turn it down for you already a little bit and let's have a listen. I'm breaking free from the shadows of And the chaos behind No more silent cries I'm so Yeah, well that definitely fits Not a very complicated song of course But maybe let's watch under others here Let's see if we can add an electric piano for example And let's turn off these distorted guitars now See what it comes up with then Maybe we can hear the song in an entirely different light Because we now get the harmonic info from this acoustic strum guitar here So let's see what kind of piano track it generates I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind Okay, there seem to be some creative notes in there, but let's go with this. And let's actually also, now that we removed those distorted guitars, let's add a guitar track and maybe do an AI match one again. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, that one seems to be very soft. Let's have a listen. I'm breaking free from Finding my peace, leaving the chaos Lies. 
Again, I'm hearing some creative notes, but hey, it's still a beta. So let's have a look at some of the other features which are still in there. Now this is the stem generation part then. Over here, you also see the stem separation, which it seems is all locked for me, because you probably need a paid account for this. But vocals and instruments are available here. So if I, for example, had a track in which I was singing to a guitar part, I could separate that out in this DAW in the cloud. We also have voice conversion over here. So I could, for example, convert this vocal track here, the first track, but that does not seem to be available yet in this beta version. And on this side, I have AI mixing. Okay, that sounds interesting. Let's see what that does. Okay, so basically it provides some standard presence, pan and reverb settings to all my tracks. You can select a musical style and for export, you can select whether you want to export the mix, the mix and stems, the format and the sample rate. I'm not really seeing any individual plugin control, for example, but I think as soon as I try to export the mix, yeah, I need to upgrade to the pro plan again. So unfortunately, not something that I can show at the time, but maybe if I make a follow up video, let's actually listen to whether we now have the mix when I play back or whether I really need to export it to hear anything. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind Finding my peace, leaving the chaos behind. No more whispers, no more silent cries I'm soaring high where the truth lies Okay, I don't think that I'm hearing a mix yet, so apparently you really have to export to listen to it, which I cannot do for now. But still, I think it's a very interesting development which is happening here. This really seems to be AI supported music production with a door in the cloud. Maybe quite similar to what Suno is planning with Suno Studio. Although I expect that it will be a bit more extensive, but we'll have to wait and see. And maybe by the time that you are watching this video, it's already out and you can compare. Now as for pricing, let's have a look because I'm currently on the free plan. And if you check out unlock all features, you can see that I get 60 generative AI credits. I noticed that when I generate a track, then one gets reduced. So you still have, well, about 60 stems that you can generate. And you also have a limited number of AI audio separations per month and a free pitch and tempo changer. If you go to the premium plan, which is 416 per month, if you're paying yearly, which I selected over here, then you get all of these extra features here. But for the real stuff, you already saw that I had to upgrade to the pro plan when I tried out some features. That's 20 euros a month when you pay for a full year. If you pay monthly, these are the prices, 35 euros a month. And then you get all these features, hi-fi AI separation, drum parts, multimedia tracks, custom multi-track separation. Yeah, especially this one, I think is an interesting one, the advanced creative controls, because as I understand it, this is what you need to be able to type in prompts for the stamps that you want generated. So then you need to have the pro plan, lossless exports, advanced AI mastering even, AI mixing will work on this level. Now there's a comparison over here as well. In more detail, you can see that for the pro plan, you also have the ability to generate separate drum stems, it seems. Yeah, for custom generation, indeed, you need the pro plan, AI mixing as well. And I think at the moment with the pro plan, they're saying that, that you get unlimited credits for stem generation, at least for this year. So that's an interesting one if you want to use this a lot. So what do you think? Is this interesting to you? Is this what you expected for Suno Studio? Or do you maybe even like it more than Suno because it's not generating the full track for you? You have much more control. Let me know in the comments and let's have a discussion about it. Now, if you want to know more about how I generated the vocal that I used as an example in this track from my own singing, and I really can't sing, then I have a separate video about that, which I will link over here. Check it out, enjoy, and see you soon.